Hello. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about transformations, and in particular, we're going to talk about the geometric view. Um, so again, this will be a little bit longer, but, but a really pretty short uh, video like the uh, rigid translations one was. The idea here is to get a feel for sort of big picture graphically what is happening so that when we get in the weeds of the actual algebra of it, we still have an idea of what we're actually doing, what the outcome actually is, okay? So let's sort of, you know, again, try to use our same or use a motivating example. Um, so let's look at, for example, a graph. Um, and let's use a graph that looks maybe sort of like a cubic function. So let's look at something like this. So again, we have the x and the y value, and we have some function, um, which I'm just labeling here. I'm not going to do anything with the actual function notation. That's the analytic bit. So a transformation, remember when, the, when we did the tr rigid translations, right? The translations were movement left, right, up, or down. The rigid part meant they were sort of made out of this iron type material. We couldn't like stretch it, bend it, move it, other than left, right, up, and down. So for transformations, instead of thinking of it sort of as a, the curve as this sort of metal bar, really you want to think of the plane itself as like this rubber material, this rubber, this stretchy rubber mat that you can pull in either the vertical direction or the horizontal direction sort of uniformly and see what happens. And so that's what the transformation is doing. What the transformation is doing is that it's sort of increasing, or I should say, it is affecting each of the for horizontal x values by the same um, sort of ratio. So it's going to make all of them twice as big, for example, um, or half the current size. And likewise, it can do the same thing uniformly for all the y values. So if we're looking at um, this piece, I could stretch it sort of in the uh, let me actually, I'm looking at that going, I didn't give myself enough space. Let me try that again. Better plan, let me draw it, and then I'll do it. So if we still have this, you know, x, y, I could take this and I could, say, pull uh, the x values out, right? I could also sort of squish them in. I'll talk about that later. Um, but I can pull them out. And the idea is that I would pull them out sort of in the same, by the same sort of, um, multiplier everywhere, which, spoiler alert, that's going to show up later. So I can make them twice the size they are now. So instead of going out a little bit and down, it might go out sort of twice as far and down. Now, the important thing, it's not quite uniform, but you have the right idea. Again, if I were a perfect artist, right, the, uh, the amount I went over here would be twice as much there. That amount, I would do twice as much there. The important thing to note, though, is that this is um, from the origin, meaning that when, think of it as like you put a pin in the origin and then you sort of stretch it in, in each way. And so the point that, went, that was at 0, 0 doesn't move because if I move it twice as far away from 0, I'm still at 0, right? So it has more of an effect the further out you go. If your x value is 1, it becomes 2. But if your x value is 10, it becomes 20. Right, because it's getting twice as big. Likewise, I can do the same thing vertically. Where, again, it's, it's still going through here. But instead of going sort of up slowly and then increasing, it'll go up much faster. So it'll, it'll end up looking sort of thinner, almost by virtue of the fact that it goes up faster. And in fact, if I were to graph, and maybe this will be even easier or better, if I were to take the original and, and I was a good artist and do sort of this thing, right? So pretend for a moment that that's the original. The idea is that as I go, this point and this point, that sort of ratio of height um, to there, so this ratio versus that ratio, right? So that over that, say that's four times as high. 
that would be the same for any given point. So if I did, say, this point and that point, that this ratio versus that ratio, if I could actually draw worth a damn, <laughs> uh, whatever, <laughs> uh, th that this point would be four times as far from the, the x-axis as that point. Okay, so this is the idea, is that I am some multiplier away at every point, okay? Observing, as you might hear, that um, <clears throat> this made it look thinner rather than taller, I mean, that's exactly what happens when you stretch something, right? So this is not, a, this is not um, sort of a, a bad observation, and there might even be ways of sort of equivalently stretching it one way versus the other. That being said, that is not always the case. Um, so sort of the best example of that is, a, is like a sine or cosine function, which we're of course not covering in this class. Um, but even things like polynomials, they don't quite work uh, stretching one way and then trying to do it the other way. Uh, except for incredibly specific circumstances, which I will basically never give you. So it is really important to know the difference between stretching vertically versus horizontally, even if you sort of see a way that one could be sort of viewed as the other, okay? Um, so like I said, relatively short video, this is the idea. So transformations, these are the stretchings. Um, one other thing to say, I forgot one other thing. One other thing is um, transformations can do sort of one additional feature, which is not obvious because of the way the xy plane works. Um, and I'm not going to dig into the geometry too deep on it. Suffice it to say, another thing that the stretching, these transformations do, is it can flip what it looks like. So instead of looking like this, I could do, instead of going up and right, down and left, I could go up and left, down and right. Because really what I've done is I took my original, which man, I am not doing great on this one, and I flipped it over this origin, uh, sorry, this uh, axis, the y-axis, okay? Same with down here. Okay. And on top of that, not only do, can you flip it, but you can also um, continue to stretch, right? So I could flip it and make it twice the size. So I could do this, but also the other direction, okay? So it's a sort of in addition to making it wider or, uh, or not as wide, you can also flip it or not, okay? And again, we'll, we'll jump into that and we'll dive into that with the analytic view to show sort of how you tell the difference and how you do one or the other, okay? So that is geometric view of transformations.